Hello, and welcome back to another Nomad Outfitters build video. Today we have a 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro in black. This build is owned by a client that has overcome a significant amount in his life and does have an amazing story. He worked his way up the corporate ladder, uh, became an executive of a nationally recognized climbing gym. He is a avid climber. Uh, he is a mountain search and rescue guy. He recently jumped ship and, and started up his own uh, consulting company and overall just a very good person. This vehicle came to us originally with the suspension already done and we actually went back and redid it for several reasons. Uh, one, it wasn't dialed in for the weight and two, it wasn't dialed in for what this client's needs were. This falls in line with all of our builds to make them drive better than they did from the factory even when loaded down. Uh, this is a daily driver, just like most of our clients' rigs, and it does maximize off-road capability while maintaining on-road driving comfort very, very well. When each build is in the design initial concept phase, we are thinking about what would the concept vehicle look like from that manufacturer if it was built for overlanding. We then take it a step further in the design process and individualize each build for each client. We want them to have a vehicle that will last and be ready to go for whatever they want to throw at it. And this is achieved by us going out and field testing every single component that we recommend. After all of this, the end product is something we are very proud of and the client is very happy with. Now let's get into the build. Diving into the suspension, this client wanted to go top tier while still maintaining a very comfortable on-road driving experience. A couple of different options were thrown out and uh, what we decided on was going with an ADS coil over front with the ADS uh, shock in the back. Both have external resis with adjustable clickers for the compression. Upper control arms are from SPC and it has Dura bump stops in the front and the rear. It has a body mount shop in the front. Um, it also has weld on spindle gussets as well as weld on cam tab gussets for added strength. The inner fender liners were made in-house since the outer fenders were cut and they were formed to fit. In the rear, it has Rockman upper control arms, Dobinson lower control arms, a Dobinson adjustable panhard bar, a IM Keith panhard bar correction bracket for the geometry correction. Uh, we replaced the rear sway bar in favor of a Curry torsion bar setup. It has Dobinson 701 springs. The rear diff skid is from RCI. The fuel tank skid, uh, transfer case, transmission, and engine are aluminum from CBI. On the driver's side in the rear, the client went with the Velox uh, Gullwing door for easy access into the cargo area. For the rear carrier, as well as the front bumper, they are from Hefty Fabworks. They offer a solid aluminum setup that does save significant weight. For storage and organization, this client went with a Dobinson's dual drawer setup. It does provide significant storage as well as a sliding top that does make getting gear very accessible. The front hefty bumper is supporting a worn Xeon winch as well as a Factor 55 hook. Uh, lighting from Ball Designs with the fog lights from Amber as well as the S8 lower light bar. Moving on to the side, uh, the wheels are 17 inch black Rhino armories wrapped in a Toyo Open Country 285 75 17. Sliders are from RSG. Uh, up on top, we do have a Prinzu roof rack as well as a FSR awning and a FSR Odyssey 49 inch tent. This Free Spirit tent is supporting their tri layer fabric that we have been a big fan of. Client also chose to go with the crossbars up on top for extra storage space. Moving inside the cab, we have the Switch Pro 9100 panel controlling his lighting, air compressor, and other accessories. On the center console, he added a uh, Victory uh, Molly panel as well as a Molly panel up on top for extra storage. Under the hood to help power everything, we have a dual AGM battery setup that is controlled by a 1225D Red Arc power management system. There are circuit breakers where needed. Powers ran to the back for his fridge, as well as the air beach wind compressor. There's currently one more phase coming with a uh, Magnuson supercharger, as well as a re-gear for this rig. 
But that about wraps it up for this time. Uh, feel free to hit us up with any questions. We'll have another build coming out next week. Uh, we're enjoying them. Hope you are as well. Uh, we'll see you then. Thank you.